गुड मॉर्निंग ताओ ओवर फ्लोस यस्टरडे आई स्पोक माइंड इज एन इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन टाइम एंड ईगो एंड मेडिटेशन इज एन इंटरप्ले इज इंटरप्ले बिटवीन ईगोलेसनेस एंड टाइमलेसनेस दिस नीड्स अ लिटिल मोर क्लैरिफिकेशन देर इज नो सेट टॉपिक फॉर सच टॉक्स सच ओवरफ्लोज instead just here and there certain things which are common myth so we will speak on that to clarify those first of all mind is an interaction between ego and time what is ego ego is your identity you are a man you are american you are indian you are healthy you are dark you are white you are your nationality all these belong to the ego realm according to hindus there are 16 sanskars or you can say the english literal translation is rituals that has to be performed in life from conception to death so one of this is beginning of the education so for beginning of the education the student will go after the ceremony along with the master he will he will have his head shaved so then first thing he goes for begging and first arms that he seeks from his parents so then the guru the master asks who sanyasi you are so erroneously the child says i am yours he said no you are first the sanyasi recluse of brahma the creator so what is this my first identity is i am cosmic i am a being not human because being is a broad category out of this there are some human then in human category there are male and female then there are sentient and insentient the human and animals animal is also a being being means that carries the spark of consciousness whether it is sentient or insentient that is why he said ki aham brahmasmi i am ever expanding consciousness so you are consciousness then you can say i am a being so if your identity goes i am being that is the first thing in that moment you have become egoless because when somebody comes to you and he introduces himself he says i am doctor so and so so have you ever realized is doctor your name or doctor is a degree that you attained your name is for identification doctor is your profession but when somebody says i am a cardiologist i did not ask you i ask you what is your name your name is tau your name is nivedita so you are identified by that name then it comes a further explanation i am a singer i am this i am that i was reading a blog from one of the person who claims as the official the inheritor of a master he said go into my profile to see 
what is my profile. But that is not necessary. A flower never says that I am red color, I am white, my fragrance is that. It has simply blossomed. So when all these things comes, then ego comes in. And another word is time. The Hindi word for time is Kal. Kal is also refers to death. So if you are talking about the time, time is aggregate of moments. Just as your body is comprised of cells, every moment and it is the cells that their function that maintains the body. If cells start decomposing, the body will not be healthy. So every moment a certain cells are formed, a certain cells dies, a moment comes, next moment that next moment that particular moment dissolves into the unknown, another moment evolves out of that. So one dies next born, one dies next born. So this is why it is ephemeral. It is death bound. So time is death bound. Ego is death bound. Today you are good looking. Tomorrow you may get wrinkles on your body. It is death bound. Ego is death bound. And mind is aggregate of all these thoughts, all these identities and come together which you consider as your own. So that is why mind is an interaction between ego and time. Now when you forget your individual identity, your cosmic identity is I am consciousness. Consciousness means being. Consciousness then you, it is said to be. Or not to be is the question. To be or not to be. Somebody has said, I do not recall the name of the person. To be or not to be is the question. The spiritual question is to be. Every moment you are aware that you are being. You are consciousness. That's why Aham Brahmasmi, I am ever expanding consciousness. And Isha Upanishad starts with a sutra. Isha Vasimidam Sarvam Yatkinch Jagatyan Jagat Ten Tatten Bhunjitha Magradha Kashishvitanam Isha Vasimidam Sarvam Idam Isha refers to that which is, you can call it God, you can call it light. Vasi dwells. Sarvam idam, all about. Isha vas idam, sarvam idam. Yet kinch jagatyan jagat. So entire universe is permeated by that. If you understand it, live by this, then you can enjoy the fruits of the entire existence. If you are one with the flower, you can enjoy the beauty and the fragrance of the flower. Now, mind becomes an interplay between, interaction between these two, ego and time. Now the meditation, the process begins, your identity start, you are becoming aware, which Adi Shankar says, imagine at the age of eight, six or eight, I do not recall the age, it was second or third century AD Shankar lived in the southernmost part of India which is Kerala in the city called Ala Kaladi from here he reached to the Himalayan mountains on a cold winter night how did he reach there? the distance is very long by air it will take a couple hours to fly. Maybe the direct flight will not be there to the Himalayan mountain. 
He was wandering in Himalayan mountains in search of a guru. There he met Govind Pad Acharya. He asked him, Who are you? When a master asks you, Who are you? I am this. You tell your name, then you tell your nationality, then you tell the I am this, I have done so much of work, I am the internationally recognized as a singer, as an author. So, Shankar composed Nirvana Shatkam. Nirvana means salvation, Buddhahood. Or Atma, self. Shatkam comes from the word Shat. Shat means six. A composition of six stanzas of four lines each. The first he says, when he asks, he says, Mano Buddha Ankar Chittani Naham. I am neither the mind, nor the memory, nor the ego sense, nor the intellect. Then he says, I am, now then you can be identified with, you can be identified with the parents. So he says, I have no father, no mother. I am not the five, the air that flows into you is uh, the air. Are you the clothes? No. Clothes are the need that you use. When you have a life, you have to continue that life. And how can you continue the life? Through breathing. So breathing is not you. Breathing is the process through which your life sustains and continues. So he denies that. He goes on denying that. And the... <coughs> And then he denies neither unhappiness nor sorrow. Because happiness and sorrow is death bound, it is time bound. One moment you are happy, next moment you are sad. Next moment you don't know how do you feel. This is the situation. So when you go beyond this, you have merged your identity with that which is cosmic identity. When the moment your identity is cosmic identity, you do not speak in front of the master, I am this and that. It happened. Once a person, he was uh, the uh, disciple going in the company of Latuji Maharaj. Latuji was the fellow disciple of Swami Vivekananda. So he was very much interested in And then it happened, he asked him one day for initiation. He said, Latuji said, your share is not with me. So he said, how will I find my master? He said, you don't have to find, your master will recognize you. Many of you, when the, your search, the search is complete, master appeared to you. This may be the experience of many of you in one way or the other. So he comes, the, he comes in the company of the Rangbar Dayal. So he said that I want to be initiated by you. He said, no, 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 don't ask me. Tomorrow you will, uh, my eldest son, Brijmohan Lal is coming. You will ask me, ask him. So he come, he tried to introduce him as normally happens. Anybody who comes to a master, he tries to introduce. That time the person need to be silent. Master does not recognize you with your outer appearances. He recognizes you with your innerness. Just as the, the MRI scan or the, the CT scan or the X-ray does not recognize you with your body, with your outer appearance, it immediately goes into your innerness and discovers it. So the master does it through his X-ray vision. He discovers your innerness. And then you don't need to give him the introduction on this. So he started to introduce. He said, no, no, I know you. Then he recognized the master said, your master will recognize you. This is the state of ego business. The moment, because ego is time bound. Ego exists in a time in order to impress someone you explain in a certain way if you have to 
uh, impress your spouse, you are big into court, so you will bring out your identity in one way. If you have to go to seek a job, you will use your identity in a different way. Then you will not speak to him, speak to your employer who is interviewing you just as you have been speaking to your spouse. So identities begin to differ. So they are time bound. And the moment you are not bound by the time, you are timeless. And that which is timeless is shashwan, eternal, never born, never die. So what is your body? Body is the house. It has the capability to house that which is time bound, which is never born, never die. Your body was born through the interact, body was composed through the interaction of ovum and sperm, then it was born. But the soul does not enter from the very beginning. It is after 14 weeks of pregnancy, the gender is determined. So that is why every person is a woman from the very beginning. So the same thing that is there in women, known as clitoris, when the hormones develop, either it will grow as a penis, the male to identify, to give the male identity, otherwise it remains the female identity. After that, the after six months of pregnancy, seventh or eighth or sometimes ninth month, the soul enters the body, soul enters the fetus. So it enters, it is not born, it is always there and soul is not something tangible. It is something, a space that makes something activated. Can you see electric current? No, you can see only its effect. So you can identify that it is like exactly like the, uh, the electric current. You can feel its applications, but you can never see it. And if you want to see electricity, feel electricity, then what you have to do? You have to do the electricity yoga. And what is electricity yoga? Remove the socket, bulb from the socket, push your finger inside, and you will do the, the experience of electricity yoga. And what will happen? You do it. So in the same way, you have to do the, uh, to realize the soul, realize that which is, it's a different process. So that which enters you, when ego disappears, time disappears. When time disappears, you realize that you are eternal. You was here yesterday, you are today, you will be tomorrow. Today you are wearing this color clothes, tomorrow you will change. But that which is there hidden behind the clothes that you are wearing was yesterday also in white clothes, today it is in red clothes, tomorrow it will be in some other clothes. So that continues. So this is that aspect of the time, mind and meditation. Sometimes, now this is just tidbit here and there. People ask, Master, always have your grace on me. Always do your kripa on me, grace, blessings. Do you say, what is the nature of the blessing or grace of the Master? It is 360 degree rotation just like the sun. Sun's light, you do not have to say the sun, sun please have your grace on me. You do not have to say to the moon, all once you are open, you are vulnerable. A flower never says that once you are in harmony with the flower, you will experience its beauty through your eyes. 
you will smell its a smell through your sense organ nostril if you have a food in front of you you have to use your palate to taste it if there is a sound you have to hear it through the ears so these are the various sense organs given to a human being to experience that which is in order to experience the beauty and the fragrance of the flower you have to be in the vicinity of the flower be totally with the flower then your eyes will capture that image and your ears and your nostrils will realize will capture a smell that can linger and that you can express it afterwards in your own words but the taste has happened there because you have smelled the flower you have seen its beauty you have drank a cup of tea while you were drinking you enjoyed it now the tea is finished you can give its narration but that narration will be just an indication to you inspire someone else to have another cup of tea in that shop where you had the tea your description can so what the master does he has experienced something he has smelled something he has heard the unheard sound he has seen the unseen beauty he has smelled the unsmelled fragrance he have tasted that which cannot be tasted and then he gives you through his talks through his overflows a description so that oh this is so i would like to experience that also i would like to taste that also so this is so firstly the grace of the master is like um, the something the if you see the light that is on top of a building that is rotating 360 degree a search light which is 300 rotation is 360 degree celsius or the direction it sends so maybe light will be going in a particular direction then it will this is a simple way to explain how the grace of the master goes on so when you say the when this understanding comes in that grace that light that fragrance continuously flows out of the master so symbolically we may say <coughs> the moment a master enters a city he casts his glance towards that city and those who are connected with that those who have internet their internet it is strong enough they will receive that vibration it was said about hazrat ba muhammad samasani a naqshbandi sheikh he used to stand up every morning look in a particular direction where a village was and used to smell so disciple asked master what do you do every morning you turn your face towards this direction and smell something he said from this village i am getting the smell of a beautiful rose that was not yet blossomed then when he was when bahaudin nakshman bahaudin was born so the parents brought him so ba mohammad samasani sent his disciple ali, aziza ali ramatini to him to do the performance of the child birth rituals or whatsoever it is so it happens so when <coughs> it is said that the master's fragrance wraps always now <coughs> it is like internet during day time more people are using the internet facility so speed becomes less 
you take when there is too much traffic in the internet space then you will not be able to uh, receive download the message easily in the night less work is there more facility more internet facility is available so you can download it much faster so masters they and now it is a 24 hours one place here it is day somewhere else it is night so vibrations there it is being received faster where it is day there it will be received in a different at a different frequency so it is erroneous to say that master have your grace always on me this is an outcome of ego you have to feel it feel it and the moment you start feeling it you know that their grace is flowing are being showered every moment so when this happens then i used to feel when i was growing how that is possible now the same thing is happening with me now every moment grace is so the you know there are some faces known some unknown so it goes the sun whose sun the light its light falls sun knows no one no direct connection with the sun but light falls one who is within the range of the it's not that you had paid for you had paid for your internet facility so you can utilize it and it is its circumference is worldwide sunlight is cosmic it does not matter whether you know to sun or you do favors for sun or you obey the sun or not its light falls equally on it, on everyone such is the nature of the grace of the master so only this much for this loose talks loose talks means there is no set topic but there are certain misconceptions that needs to be clarified so these talks are meant for that purpose so right now we have the opportunity for it to be videographed so it will be done until the facility is available every day after that we will have it once in a week so that the video is recorded and presented in a format that is also has an appearance so these talks will continue take care and bye until we meet again